Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how Selena Gomez roasts Miley Cyrus on SNL. Let's get right into it. Selena Gomez presented Saturday Night Live on May 14th and revealed an impression she'd been working on for a long time. But first, she made a joke about how many single people appear to find love in the SNL green room, despite the fact that she herself is single. Gomez explained, One reason I've been very happy to host is because I'm single. She then said, And I've heard SNL is a great place to find romance. Emma Stone met her husband, Dave McCarry here, Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost, and Pete Davidson and Machine Gun Kelly. Though she wants love, Gomez is not on any dating apps. Gomez said, I just want to put it out into the universe that I'm manifesting love. She then added, I'd like to say I'm looking at my soulmate, but at this point I will take anyone. Gomez was making her hosting debut, but she said she sought guidance from pals who had previously gone through the SNL ringer. That's when she did her Miley Cyrus impersonation. Gomez said, absolutely nailing Cyrus's distinctive voice. I also asked one of my oldest friends, Miley Cyrus, and she said, just be yourself and have fun. She then said, I was like, Miley, is that just an excuse for me to do an impression of you on the show? And she was like, hell yeah, I'm Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus's reaction to Selena Gomez's imitation of her during her Saturday Night Live sketch demonstrates how amazing Miley is. The singer of Nothing Breaks Like a Heart wore a DIY tank top with the words, hell yeah, I'm Miley Cyrus, scrawled on it and posted it on Instagram. Selena Gomez said the exact same thing during her SNL monologue. Miley wore her custom-made tank and stood in bed with a cup of tea, her wide blue eyes fixed on the camera. She wrote the same thing in the caption and tagged the official Instagram handle of Saturday Night Live and Gomez. Several fans took to the comment section and called the wrecking ball singer Queen and iconic. Both the stars were Disney kids and met as teens. Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez dated Nick Jonas at various times in their lives and were rumored to be feuding. The two, on the other hand, refuted that claim and proved that they are BFFs. Along with Cyrus's unexpected appearance, Gomez was joined in a pre-recorded sketch by Steve Martin, with whom she is now acting in a Hulu production. Gomez interviews Martin, who plays Archie Gizmo, one of the world's finest inventors, in the sketch Inventor Documentary. He invented the whoopee cushion, which has had a significant impact on human history. In another joke, Gomez sends out her long-term partner to do some shopping for her, mocking the famous Netflix program Old Enough about toddlers being sent out to run errands. It rarely works well, as anyone who has sent their lover to buy their makeup can attest. She says in the sketch, I'm really proud of him. She then said, Last night, I asked him to get me an eyeliner pencil and two shallots, and he brought home 10 pounds of onions and a blush palette for African-American women, so we should just break up. Selena Gomez and Melissa Villasenor teamed up for another hilarious sketch as two Mexican-American ladies who host a peek at Pico, a chat show about their Pico Rivera neighborhood. The humor derives from the monotony of their observations, such as Gomez's obsession with her new eyeliner. Right after SNL, Selena got all serious and talked about mental health during an empowering White House speech. During an appearance at the White House's Mental Health Youth Action Forum, the star of Only Murders in the building spoke strongly about destigmatizing mental health. She shared, Just to throw in a little bit of my journey, I felt like once I found out what was going on mentally, I found that there was more freedom for me to be okay with what I had because I was learning about it. She then added, Bringing attention to mental health through media or just by talking about your journeys can help. She then continued, it sets the example that it's a topic that can and should be discussed freely and without shame. The Revelation singer claimed she is using her platform to achieve change, and she was accompanied by First Lady Jill Biden, Ambassador Susan Rice, US Surgeon General Vivek Murthy, and 30 adolescent mental health campaigners for the event. Her mother, Mandy Teefy, was also in attendance. She said, Mental health is very personal for me, and I hope that by using my platform to share my own story and working with incredible people like all of you. She then added, I can help others feel less alone and find the help they need, which is honestly all I want. Gomez also expressed her desire to assist in the provision of mental health services to anyone who requires them. She said, When it comes to talking about and destigmatizing mental health, I want to ensure that everyone, no matter their age, their race, religion, sexual orientation, have access to services that support their mental health. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys.
We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.